Ladies and gentlemen, this guy, I mean, storyline after storyline. I mean, this reminds me of Hulk Hogan, mid to late 90s. We don't know whether we're getting the good guy, the bad guy, but he's great at both roles. Uh, sometimes you love him, sometimes you hate him. He's the big red machine. He's the one, the only, William Lights Out Montgomery. Here he comes. He's approaching the microphone. Which William will we get this week? Here he is, William Montgomery. Uh, you think being a plumber is hard? Try being a blimp salesman. <laughs> Um, I was watching a WNBA game earlier, and it said aerial coverage provided by the Goodyear blimp, and I have to admit, the roof game was on point. Uh, apparently, my former youth pastor is missing, and I ain't snitching. Uh, not to beat a dead horse, but I'm all out of glue. Um... Sad for Biden that his VP running mate just died, uh, Kamala the Ugandan giant. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all I got. There you go, 49 seconds of <laughs> meat and potatoes from William Montgomery. <laughs> Montgomery, yeah. Hi, William. Hey, That how was are so much doing? fun. Welcome, welcome. I know. Are you are sober you again doing? this week? Yeah, pretty much. I have had a little uh, Coca-Cola and vodka, but just a tiny amount. Coca-Cola oh. and vodka? Why would you mix that Ew. together? I only had Coca-Cola in the fridge. <laughs> it's not bad. Wow. Did you have it on ice? Nope. It's just in a water bottle over there. It's just Coke. You put it in a water. You put a lid on it? Yes. I got drunk last night, but other than that, that was it. What happened last night? What do you, why, what do you think made you want to drink last night? What do you think happened there? I don't know. I was grilling out. It's been fun to grill out. I got a grill. Did some salmon last night. Oh, how long? It was really good. Okay. Um, how long into the, <laughs> William, how long into the grilling did you start drinking? Uh, I was drinking some Stella Artois. Um, okay. Let me rephrase the question. Uh, when did you start grilling? Take, Probably take at a guess. 7. 7 p.m. Yes. What time did you start drinking yesterday? Probably at 6 Okay, so you cracked open a Stella at 6. Correct. Probably went through two of those before you started grilling at 7, right? Correct. And, uh, and then what happened? What happened at 7 when you started grilling? Just straight Stellas all night? Did you get your groove and back? And then I moved to the vodka Coke at probably 3 in the morning. Jesus, <laughs> absolutely disgusting. <laughs> <It's nasty. laughs> and then I woke up at maybe 1 p.m. today. I mean, you drink like a freshman in high school that just found out about alcohol. <laughs> yeah, that is a drink of desperation. Yeah, like it's like, oh, I just mixed whatever my, uh, my stepdad had in the cabinet. <laughs> right. I had a vodka and Coke. I bet that Coke was flat, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It wasn't, actually. Do you drink a lot of water when you wake up, or do you drink water in period? Yes, I was, uh, I was total, I was very thirsty when I woke up. Fuck, yeah. How much water do you think you drank? Uh, 64 ounces. Wow, that's a good guess. Good. Yeah, I have a 32-ounce water bottle thing. Oh, my goodness, and you filled it up twice. Yep. That's interesting. Is it true that your <laughs> youth pastor is missing? Uh, Yes. Oh, tell us more about it. Uh, we don't know where he is. How did you find out he was missing? Who told you that? Um, it was on the news today. Really? The news here? The local news here? Yes. And you were watching the local news, and you found out your youth pastor, even though you're from Tennessee, you found out your youth pastor here on the local news, they covered that a Tennessee youth pastor was missing. Correct. Are you it's, lying to me right now, No, William? no, no, no. It's national news right now. It's national news that your yep. youth pastor is missing. Was yes. He, was he like a really good youth pastor? He was. He was what the What was so good man. about him? What was so good about him? Tell us what made him so special. I don't know. He was just a really nice man. In what way? What did he do that was nice? Uh, he would read us the Bible. Oh, um, that's what the, every youth pastor does that. Just a really nice man. Did he ever touch you in any inappropriate ways? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what did he do? Touched my butthole. Oh, my God. With what? What did he touch it His with? fingers. Oh, my God. How many fingers? Two. Wow. <laughs> okay, red band. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Four minutes into the episode. <laughs> that was a two-tone fart. You know, it's weird when the fart noises come before the first kitty. No. <laughs> All right. So, William, uh, is it true that you're out of glue? 
Uh, no, that was a lie. Okay. <laughs> Do, have you ever met a blimp salesman before? Uh, you no. Know. You had two blimp jokes to start off your set this week. Why do you think that happened? Um, I don't know. I was frantically trying to write stuff earlier, and I thought about blimps, and then those two came to mind. It would be really amazing to see you take all your jokes and all the topics of each joke and try to combine all the topics. And so, you're, you know, instead of having one minute of random jokes all put together having one minute of the same topic uh because you write yeah really funny you, shit yeah. but it's so random you're going from one place to another yeah it'd you be could really have, cool to see you could like have 10 longer. minutes in a row on a modium ad yeah. yeah that's what the people want could have a whole tonight show set about blimps William, what about your normal life this week? Your relationship good? Did you find a new job? Everything? Yeah, relationships totally positive. Wow, um, that's shocking. It's totally positive. I was able to talk to somebody at the unemployment office, so I'm uh, hopefully getting paid here again soon because I'm running out of money. Oh, you are? Yeah, my dad would probably. He's very nice. He'd probably give me a little if it came. If well, it he went down to, to zero. The funny thing I don't is, know. Yeah, maybe he's hearing this and he, he doesn't listens like to every episode of Kill Tony. And my guess is that you're going to get a stimuli from your father. We'll see. Didn't you get like like a check for like seven thousand dollars or something like that like a month ago? Yeah, my balance is seventy eight hundred, but I've only gotten paid seventeen hundred out of it. I just wow. don't know how it works, so we'll see. Yeah. No, that's good. Your girlfriend's been stealing money from you. <laughs> the bank probably just didn't believe that you could uh, get that much money all at once. Right. They find you to be irresponsible. They're like, this, yeah. guy, this guy bought Coca-Cola and vodka at the <laughs> liquor store the other day. We can't trust him. <laughs> all right. Anything else going on, William? You've been exercising at all? You're sweating profusely I am. right now. I can this is an air-conditioned room. This is a sign of usually a I am, sign I of feel uh, hot as shit. It's usually right a now. sign of people that are about to have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. You have not. shorts on. Your dick's still hanging out. You're still sweating. Oh, geez. William, You're why do you? Oh, is that just your performing shorts, or do you literally wear those every? I wore them every day. day, and I woke up, and there's the shit all on them. I don't know what I was doing last night. Uh, that yes. looks like doo doo. Do you have more than one pair of shorts, or do you just love that pair of shorts? Tell the truth on this one. I have other ones. I don't know if they'd fit me though. I've gained weight. I don't so know how do you wash those me. though? You just never wash them because I have. Wa I washed these probably two or three months ago. Oh, oh. are you serious? Yeah. I don't think they smell. I mean, I smelled them. You're like a live-action King of the Hill character. <laughs> it is right. so yeah. gross. I mean, it's yeah, so I interesting because the above the waist, you always have good style. That shirt you're wearing right there, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Dale Earnhardt fan club. Member. I know. I, I got mean, this it's on incredible. eBay. You always have cool Tennessee volunteer stuff. You always have cool style, but you wear the same dirty yeah, shorts. I, I need to get some new ones. They're broken. I mean, you're completely exposed in the front. <laughs> what waist size do you think you could, uh, wear so that people at home could send you some shorts? Yeah, what waist are you? 36? Mm. Why don't you take a fucking 36 guess? 36 or 38, I would guess. 36 or what? Or 38, I would think. Okay, let's go with 38, and then you can wear a belt like a gentleman. Okay. You have a belt, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the, it's the only thing keeping those up. And what t-shirt <laughs> size is. do you wear? XL. He doesn't need any T-shirts. Send him 38 shorts. Yeah, please send me some 38. Send it to the uh, just 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 Mark William Montgomery and send it to the Comedy Store, 8433 West Sunset Boulevard, West Hollywood, California 90069. Send William Perfect. shorts. This is a new project. It's the uh, Send William Shorts Project. And shorter rather rather than longer. Shorter. So you don't like the longer shorts. You like you Not like it above, like an inch above the kneecaps. Totally. Yep. Ugh. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's so. <laughs> He, no, has, he, has, he actually has great legs on him. He doesn't, yeah, he, he doesn't used to have bike like, a lot. It's my best feature, my legs. He doesn't so have like horrendous. Shorts. He doesn't have like horrendous uh, e thighs legs. or like you know like. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't yeah. have e-bike e legs. Exactly. Right. He's got regular former bicyclist legs, and the but the gut. I mean, it's absolutely vomitile. It it's it's really like it's putrid. If what's happening? It looks like a cyst or something. It really <laughs> does. Your belly button makes it look like an ass. <laughs> it does. Wow, it really does. Whoa. It looks like you have a giant butt. Yeah. If your pastor, if your youth pastor was here, he'd probably put two fingers in your belly button. He would. There he goes, William Montgomery, everybody. On to the next one we go.
the great William Montgomery. Here we go. Here he is, live in the flesh. 60 seconds uninterrupted from William Montgomery. Uh, I like my women like I like my coffee wrapped in styrofoam. Uh, what's the difference between a Lakers fan and a Clippers fan? Uh, trick question. They're both going to die in an earthquake that will strike on August 27, 2020. <laughs> uh, hey, you're either La Quinta in or La Quinta out. That's an impression of my landlord asking me to pay for my continental breakfast. Uh, I'm at the point where I just hope my son turns out either gay or straight. Uh, and Jimmy, I have to say I loved you as the detective in the Italian job. Thank you, sir. Okay, Get just that. closing out. Closes out with a compliment. 40 seconds of jokes, 10 40 seconds, seconds of, of jokes. compliments, and uh, and here we are with the great William Montgomery. Hi, William. How are y'all doing? I'm drunk as shit tonight. Oh, my goodness. No, I'm kidding. I'm not. No, I know. I can tell. I'm you can not. tell when you're drunk, believe it or not. Yeah, you're very happy when you're sober. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It really is. You're happy and effective. Your timing, your yep. pacing, the jokes, even though the coffee Perfect. styrofoam thing, very risky to open with that. But you know what? It established your uh, oddballness right from the get. You followed it up with joke, joke, joke. An ine inevitable earthquake happening August 27th of 2020. Is that true? That is on Thursday of three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Thursday, yes, three, three weeks, weeks ago. ago. <laughs> My goodness. That's interesting. Three weeks ago. It I already happened, and the earthquake didn't even happen. Yeah, but I think it might happen on uh, the August 27th. Okay. What makes you think that? A premonition, if you will. Okay. What if that actually happens? Yeah, tell me about it. That's what a, if it actually happens? Tell me about it. Some old school uh, biblical fucking shit like just swallows up fucking Los Angeles. Jimmy, where would you go? Where would you go? I'm gonna go. I'm going to Delray Beach, Florida, Boca down there with my people. I'm How are let, you going on an airplane? Can I go with you? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Come on down. Where would you go? If how, you, can we exchange numbers or something? Or how do, I, how do I get on the plane? If you weren't invited to Delray Beach just then with, uh, with Jimmy, where would you have gone if there was an earthquake? Probably Ponte Vedra Beach in Florida. Are you just, you just coming from? It's you, on the Atlantic coast. If I would have asked you five minutes ago what you would do if there was a major earthquake, what would you have said? would have said Phoenix, Arizona. You, would you drive there or would you walk there? I would have flown. You would have taken an airplane during a massive earthquake. I would have flown. An earthquake swallows Los Angeles, and you'd get on an airplane? An airplane's the safest place to be in an earthquake. That is actually true. It's true. I think it's the safest place to be during the middle of a pandemic because they got the middle seat open now. Nobody's flying. I love it. What do you like, Jimmy? What do you, what what air, airplanes do you like? Hey, you're asking a lot of fucking yeah. questions. You got a subpoena? If I, I'm, I'm yeah. on the Again, I loved you in the Italian job. Thank you, That's sir. why I'm starstruck right now. Absolutely. You're a great detective in that. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely, William. Is that a new T-shirt? I've never seen you wear the tie-dye before. No, I've had it. Wait, is those new shorts? Oh, nope. my God. <laughs> nope, it's still open. Has anybody sent shorts? We, we tried to get you some nope. shorts. No shorts have nope. been delivered yet. What do you keep in your cargo pockets? What do you got there? Let's let's play a game called What's in Those Pockets. What's in those pockets? Whoa, I can't. I can't. And turn that fucking sound down. Oh, you don't like that one, huh? No, and I can't do it. Come on, pull I got contraband out. in here. Pull something I out. I got of contraband your... in here. Pull it out. I got contraband in here. Okay. Come on, man. You're fucking out in the Pull dude. it out. Pull something out of those pockets. Whoa, keys. All right, what's in the other pocket? That's not even the pocket I cared about. I want to know what's in that right thigh pocket. Don't pull out your dick. It's not his dick. I wish it was, but my dick is very close to my tummy. So there's no way it could be... Oh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> you have big belly button energies. Yeah, that's, yeah that, vo that noise I made sounded like that. Pull something Here's out of your... Here's my wallet. Whoa, oh. where, where's your Ridge wallet? My Ridge wallet? I don't like that company. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I refuse to buy from those fucking people. They don't like <laughs> Okay. 
That's what I read. That's what I read. All right. They don't like or his Hey, what's in, what's in your other pocket? That's the AMFM digital vibrator from Whammo. Apparently. Jimmy, stop. We're just making do that notes noise to edit got? that out because yeah. uh, they're our sponsor. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm kidding. Where's your ridge? Have, have we given you a ridge wallet? No. We have. I need one. Can you uh, can you run to that back? Who's got one? Grab a ridge wallet out of there. Who's got one? Yeah, we've got we've got one for you, William. We've got one for you. Will you use it if we give it to you? Yeah, Jimmy. What are your thoughts if I try to get into show business? What sort of stuff should I apply for? <laughs> At this point, bro, I would fucking get something with benefits because it doesn't look like show business is coming back. Is that a soon. fucking joke? What's yeah. that? Is that a fucking joke? Yeah. What do you mean fun. by that? All right. He, this is what he does. He gets weird like no, this. No, I know. I know. Yeah. I'm pissed. Here's look your at ridge that. wallet. Hey, look at Thanks, that. Thanks, bitch. It's a ridge wallet. <laughs> oh, William has been drinking. Look. Yeah, I'm pissed. I guess. Oh, he... my goodness. Wow. So let, let's take it from the top and let's pretend because that ridge wallet part that you said is definitely not going to be in the episode, even though it made the room laugh. So put that in your pocket and then I'm going to go <laughs> and then uh, we'll just play it as we go. Ready? Okay. And go. Action. action. What else do you have in your pocket, William? Tony, it is so nice to be here. I well, we already did that. Uh, Where do I start? Let's take it from the top. What's, okay. in, what's in your other pocket? My yeah. back pocket? Yeah. What's in your back pocket? Sure. I actually have a... Uh, a ridge wallet. Whoa, Whoa, ridge wallet. Point that the at the box. camera. Can we zoom in on that? Oh, wow. Really Z good company. They hate <laughs> William, you're so stupid. That's why I support them. William, you're out of control. They hate in this Put it back in your pocket. Put it. Now we have to do it again. We'll, we'll be here all night if we have to. And get ready. For, get ready Let's for do the, it again. Get ready for the zoom on this. What's and... It, what? and Action. Action. What's in your other pocket, Yeah, what William? do you got in your back pocket? Oh, it's just a Ridge wallet. Oh. Uh, really? Let's take see. a look at this, guys. Oh, my God. It's still in the box. That's an actual they Ridge hate wallet. William. <laughs> William, you can say anything other than that. We're going to have to edit the shit out. I don't think you understand. So Jimmy this told me to say that. We're not live right Jimmy now. Jimmy told me to say that. We are not live. Jimmy, get my back on this one. I put him up to it. Yeah, he put me up to it. <laughs> All right, let's do it one more time. <laughs> I think that's going to be their new national campaign, the Ridge Wallet. Yeah, they hate Actually, we might leave this in, actually, now that I think about it. What's in your other pocket? <laughs> okay. Oh, I got a new wallet. I think it's from a company called uh, Ridge Wallet. Okay, let's take it from the top. Hold on a second. <laughs> don't say you got a new wallet. It's funnier if your Just wallet is wallet. still in the box, Okay. William. You don't need to say you got a new wallet. Okay. It's funnier if you don't if your wallet's still wrapped but in it's plastic. In a box. You don't need to say it's yep. new. Like you okay. always just carry a box of a wallet in your I get pocket. It. Okay. Okay. What's in your other pocket? Man, I actually have a wallet I've had for like five years now. It's called a Ridge Wallet. Wow, Ridge Wallet, and it's still in the box. They hate <laughs> okay. That's fine. We can keep that in there. That's beautiful. What, what you, you know that defeats the purpose of the ridge wall of keeping it in the box like that. Oh my goodness. Jimmy Oh, oh he heard his belly <laughs> on the mic drop. He heard his own stomach. <laughs> William. What happened there? Montgomery. Not a lot of people know this, but if William shaves his beard, he becomes young Louis Anderson. Yep. Whoa, that is real scary. quick. Whoa. That's why he keeps the beard. Wow. A lot of people called him Young Louis Anderson. You could say that. I could. I could say a lot of things. You could say a bunch right now. All right. Anything else happen <laughs> in your personal life this week? That, cooked uh, out some salmon last night on my Weber grill. You cooked salmon on the Weber? Really good. Really? I would not trust you cooking fish on a grill if my life depended on it. It was delicious. I did it. I could be starving. I could have not eaten for days. And if you're like, hey. Tony, I'm you're lying. It, it, I'm, a good, uh, I'm a good griller. You know what he cooked the other day? A frozen pizza on the grill. Oh, God. <laughs> it's delicious. I could have walked from Phoenix, Arizona to here starving. And if you're like, hey, I'm putting salmon on the grill. You want some? I'd be like, I just ate. Jimmy likes it, though. Wouldn't you eat a frozen pizza I made? Yeah. You know, in the old days, when these guys used to drive to these gigs, 
You used to put the frozen people under under the air filter. The frozen the people. The frozen pizza. <laughs> what asshole. do you mean frozen what people, you, Jimmy? Don't make me come over there. Okay. Oh man. We put the frozen Let pizza talk, on, the, on the air filter and close the lid and it drive the, the air gig. filter. By the, by the time William I got to the gig, the pizza was cooked. I don't get it. <laughs> He's crazy. Just ignore him. He's the only one like this. <laughs> So firecracker here out of the number one spot, William. You have a real spunky attitude. Yeah, I've, I've reached my boiling point. Your boiling point? Yep. You have a temperature? What did he, what did he temp in at today? Let's look at it. We're going to check. It was 104. We, we check everybody's temperature. 97.3, Soft Rock FM yeah, Radio. Yeah, my favorite radio station. That's what I was about to say. Well, William, we love you. Nice to see you you're one of the true greats. Nice to see you, Jimmy. After the show, let's exchange numbers and hang out, maybe. Sounds good, William. <laughs> cool. I'll, I'll hit you up after we get done. Perfect. Is that a joke? You're smiling. I don't... There he goes. William Montgomery, Come everybody. On, William there Montgomery. we go. An absolute monster. I love him more than anything. Sometimes I give him some good old tough love. Try to squeeze the best out of him like a like you would with a delicious orange in the morning time. Mm. If you're into fresh juices. Ah, uh, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. What else can I say? Long time regular, great comedian. Here's William Montgomery. Oh boy, here he is. Don't you want to squeeze is. him? One minute uninterrupted from William Montgomery. Uh, I haven't seen Jack Nicholson on the sideline lately. Uh, that's my impression of a poser Lakers fan. Uh, for all the atheists that hate my material, as the late great Rick Moranis said, uh, God bless the haters. Uh, y'all ever notice how every commercial these days has a product? Uh What's the name of that band that played that song you hear when you accidentally call a fax number? <laughs> no, really, what's that band's name? Uh, you know times are tough when your Coke dealer goes to rehab. <laughs> no, seriously. It, oh, man, a good uh, friend in Memphis had to go to rehab. And Scarlett, I just want to say I loved your voice in the movie Her. Thank you. Okay, there's a minute, and uh, there you go, William <laughs> Montgomery. <laughs> California. There you go, William Montgomery. Another very funny set. 45 seconds of thunder and lightning, and then uh, then you start uh, just commenting on things. It's pretty awesome. I like that fax machine song. You, you, you do? I know. That's you're a talking about a Axel F, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Great How references. Jack Nicholson, Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis is actually not dead, but he's a huge Christian. He's a recluse. He's a recluse. Have you ever been a recluse? I have been bitten by a brown recluse before at my you parents' have? house in Memphis. Yes. What happened? Very toxic bite. Uh, I almost had to get my uh, lower leg amputated. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's, thanks for the snake sound. <laughs> that's the sound of a spider. <laughs> the closest thing I had. How would you do a snake sound? What were you doing when you got bit by a spider? Were you outdoors? I was, uh, I guess you could say, hollering at. It was some African-American girl um, <laughs> in the south side of Memphis. We were on her waterbed. A uh, waterbed? A waterbed. She had a waterbed? She had a waterbed. What a black girl water had a waterbed? I've been a waterbed. Yeah, what I do you mean? I lost my virginity on a waterbed. I grew up with one. Yeah. You grew up with a black girl or a, a waterbed? A waterbed, okay. African American, excuse the me. The problems with waterbeds is they weigh so much that you can't really have them on a floor. So the were, black were girls they, or the waterbeds? Were they ever? It's, it's still the waterbeds, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> really. They it's, they really <laughs> sorry. Uh, I don't think they were ever really comfortable, were they? Oh, no. This one, they had different models. Like, mine almost felt like a real bed, but it was... The black it was girl or the water bed? Yeah, right. It depends how big they are. That's what I was about to say. But the cool thing is you could heat it up, so you just sat in, and you're just like on this warm, fleshy-feeling bubble. It felt no, great. I lost my Virginia when I was 14, Northeast Philadelphia. We're fucking bumping DMX. It was fucking sick, dude. 
I how, got sick. How was sick. it? Did you? How long did it last? For? It wasn't good. I don't know how long it lasted. I didn't know time. I couldn't tell time back then. I was fourteen. I was well, a fucking. You kid. couldn't tell oh. time at fourteen. I couldn't. I was a very slow kid. He took advantage of me. Thanks for bringing it up. My did, God, did he, he pumpkined his, me. Did he lose his virginity too? Or no, he had already lost his virginity in prison. No, he did end up in prison though. <laughs> Not for fucking me at fourteen, but <gasps> heroin. Oh. <laughs> Turns out if you get your kid a water bed in high school, they're going to be a heroin addict. Huh. No. I've read that. It's true. I've so you were on the that. you were on a waterbed with a black girl. Then what happened? Uh, I felt something uh, tickling my ro- lower right leg. <laughs> I tried to swat whatever was off my lower right leg. Turned out to be a big brown recluse. Oh my goodness! It it bit me. Oh, there it is. Uh, the next day, we go to see the Harlem Globetrotters. No, hell you of, didn't. Wait, no, you hell didn't. Hell of a show. You're I don't making know. up a story about hanging out with a black girl, and this is what you think they do. And they do. went to the glo- <laughs> Harlem Globetrotters. Harlem Globetrotters. You think they just go see the Harlem Globetrotters? We went to a game. They were in southern Tennessee. They beat the uh, Washington Nationals. No, that's a baseball team. You know what's weird, though? Jack Nicholson was in the front row. That it's is, a callback, guys. That, was that is good. true. There's four <laughs> people in the room, man. That was four good. Did you really do cocaine with one of the uh, the tennis players? I did. I did. Where the, were at y'all? The, at the Standard across the street here. Was it the fun? Standard Hotel. She go, she after she it was her first time, and after she did it, she went, "Oh my God, my dad doesn't let me do anything." And I was like, "Our dads don't let us do coke either, by the way. Your dad just made you like uh, the most athletic person on earth. Your dad was right. Ours was wrong." <laughs> That's incredible. So cool. William, what's been going on this week in your normal um, real life? I still have the same shorts on. Yeah, very bizarre. Oh, my God. You busted out, out of, of them. How often do you wash those? I've asked you this. It's not my dick. It's my tummy. Now, we, we know that that's your tummy. It's a fupa. Right, it's it's part t- dick, part tummy. It's the same. David, David Lucas has this video on his phone of his first time meeting William two years ago, and he has the exact same shorts on. <laughs> no way. Is that <laughs> true? Oh Were they God. broken? These are the only shorts I wear. Yeah. I did not. I bought Birkenstocks. I'm wearing my new Birkenstocks. Oh, my today. God. Ooh, look Let's at see. that. Super you, comfy. Do you usually wear Highly crocs? recommend. Call your dad real quick. Call your dad. Put him on speakerphone. We need to get you some new shorts. Tell Is me it, you stole a sh- your My sh- previous shoes. plans of having people send you shorts did not work. What size do you wear again? Uh oh, I think we know. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a large. What? A large? Well, it looks you like think you're it's a wearing what? a medium. It looks like you're wearing a medium. It's a 36, 32. That's why it's broken. <laughs> Call your dad on speakerphone. You just grab his backpack. This is important. No, the phone's it. on top. Oh, it's on top. Here we go. We're going to call Mr. Thanks, Montgomery. Rick. We have oh to get. Can you FaceTime him? I want to see him. This is the, with the music from that game, the Harlow Globetrotters game that him and the black girl went to. <laughs> <laughs> also, he said African American, which sounds like the N word now, don't you think? It's like he's trying. Some... It's worse, right? It really, really? is. Since the the bird watching bitch. Uh oh, here we go. Put him on speaker. Turn the volume all the way up. Might be late over there, huh? What is it? Wake like? his ass up. It's kill Tony. It's like after eleven. Turn that volume up. Volume up. Put it right. Th- Papa. Right. Put it. Put the microphone to the bottom of the phone, William. Hi, Mr. Tell- Mr. Montgomery. It's Tony Hinchcliffe. Can you hear me? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. How you doing, Tony? I'm great, man. You know, I just wanted to hear your voice and say hello. Uh, you know, we're big fans of you over here. We're doing an episode live right now, and I want to talk with you about the shorts that William has been wearing for what appears to be pretty much two years continuously. It's Not a short time. Let's just say that. Yeah. He says that it's the only pair of shorts that he wears. What can we do about this? Um, I don't, I think he's been wearing those since he was a sophomore in high school. <laughs> <laughs> no loyalty or dad. No loyalty. I love that. And he has, sometimes they've been too big for him and sometimes they've been too small for him. Well, uh, we're at the small part, dad. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're definitely at the small part. The front is busted open. His he's th- Louis C.K.ing all of us right now. <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, he, he needs to invest in another pair of shorts. What do you think we should do? Should we start a fundraiser or something like that? Or maybe we should... Uh... <laughs> shorts yeah, cost like $20. Things, I well, think those things set him back originally maybe about $12. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
We could probably find the exact <laughs> manufacturer of those shorts and buy a new pair of those shorts, you, William. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We solved the problem, Thank Mr. God. Montgomery. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you, Papa. I love you. Aww. You'll take care of yourself. Miss oh, you, buddy. So we love you. We miss you. Come back. Visit us soon. We will. We love y'all and miss y'all, too. Awesome. Bye-bye. He's the best. Why you did know, y'all see, fucking do that to me when Papa was on the phone? You, that was so what did cute. We do? What did we y'all do? Y'all made me look like a fool. No. Your pants made you look like the, a fool. And your father made you look like a fool. He he really upped the ante. He told us you've had those since you were no a sophomore in high school. sophomore in high school. He said that they've been too big on you, they've been too small on you, that you fluctuated weights through your <laughs> life It's like problems. your little blankie at this point. What? Is that like your little blankie? Are you scared to get rid of those shorts for a reason? Oh, it's so upsetting how small they are on you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> William. All right. <laughs> William. All right. Uh, w- you think that if we bought you a new pair of those shorts, would you, uh, would you wear them? Yeah, do you know the brand yeah. of those shorts? They're, They're Old ma- Navy, right? These are Mountain Hardware. <gasps> what are they? Mountain Hardware. Mount Hardware? Mountain Hardware. Mounted Mountain Hardware? hardware. Mountain what? hardware. Size what? 36. These are probably a 36. But what do you need? 38, obviously. 40, 38. 40. No, I got a 40 and they were way too big. 38. 38. Oh, oh you looks... attempted and you overshot? I love yep. that. I got and a 40. <laughs> I got a size 40. It was it was sad. You I didn't... looked like a fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> they were down around your ankles? They were, and I tried to put a belt on, and god damn. And then put it on your neck accidentally. Mountain hardware, there it is. Yeah. Pants and shorts are the, one of the first things that comes up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, these are expensive. That's so, why they last so long. Yeah. Look at that. How'd yeah, you get really these, great shorts. How'd you get the original pair your sophomore year? Your parents or your grandma or someone? I was uh, working in an outdoor store in Memphis, Tennessee. What was the outdoor store? Called Outdoors Incorporated. Outdoors Incorporated. Is that when you what just put your <laughs> cup out and people put... Wow, We're guys, breaking news. They absolutely have the exact same oh shorts. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do they really? <laughs> for $38. I think that's William, too, the Holy model. Holy short. <laughs> 38 so happy bucks. for you. I remember around Christmas time when I was working there, uh, Lawrence, the main manager, gave everybody a $100 bill for a Christmas bonus, and he didn't give me one. Why? And I wanted to cry that night. I feel like I know why. Why, why didn't difficult? he give you a bonus? I don't know. I don't know. What I remember. What exactly did you do there? You agreed. I worked in at that point in time. I worked in the uh, what is that place called? It's like a big enclosed building with where you have a bunch of products in a, a it, warehouse. A I worked in the warehouse. Yeah. What'd you do at the warehouse? I got clothes. I stole a bunch of shit. Well, well you what didn't did steal you do? Shorts. What did you do for work at the warehouse? People would buy stuff on the internet, and I would find their products. Uh, that they were looking for, I would I would get them, and Lawrence didn't give me a hundred dollar Christmas bonus. Do you think it's because you were stealing from him? He didn't know. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> I mean, we have it all rung up here. It's on sale. In fact, spoiler alert: What's the, the men's J Tree short is on sale for forty five dollars. That's the pocket. They have three inseams though: seven, oh, nine, yeah. and eleven. What's your inseam? My guess is yours is a nine eleven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because it is a disaster. Because your balls seven. are falling. Like, the twins are falling. Because <laughs> it smells it's like, like it smells like hundreds of innocent corpses. Okay, all right, that was Guys, too far. Come on. The three nine eleven jokes got laughs before that. You say innocent corpses one time. Everybody gets all <laughs> mourning in here. God. Oh my God. God. Yeah. The, the pictures What's, they have of these shorts. William, what's like, your turn around? Can I see your butt? What your butt looks like in these shorts? There we, is a get, whole. In the middle. And there's a hole in your... Oh, my can God, there's a hole someone, right in his butthole right there. Can we get someone to measure William's have, inseam? Have you quick? ever pooped out of the hole? Yes. No, come on. <laughs> there's a little... Oh, there's a hole underneath it that goes right to Let his butt. Let me see. Check Let's this see out. it. Sit down uh, Sit down on that table <laughs> behind you, William. <laughs> yeah, do the, uh, do the Sharon zoom Stone. Zoom in on this. Do the Sharon Stone. Yeah, just lean back. Oh, my God. Oh, you my God. See. Get in there, what is Zach. This, like a Look at that. Oh, that's a big hole. Oh, my God. It's a vaginal oh, hole. Oh, my God. There's a huge hole. That's a baby hole. Hand. Just picture me with the black girl in Memphis move just hand, on her William. water bed. William, move your hand. Yeah, don't uh, hold it like you're holding a, your wait, cam girl okay, holding no, a vagina hold, open. Hold, hold it again. Lean back. 
What a good song. Spread your legs out. <laughs> Spread your legs, lean back. <laughs> this is so Let the light get in there, William. It's very dark. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, no, I see red hair. Oh, no, that's my pubes. <laughs> okay. All right, William. Well, so much All fun. Right. Great set, great interview. Great talk so with good. your pops. Nice to talk. There he goes, the great William Montgomery. R.I.P. Jack Nicholson. The Memphis Strangler, the great, the powerful, William Montgomery. Crazy. Uh, if you come at me with a business idea and your pitch isn't as just like the Tour de France, but with rollerblades, keep moving, pal. Uh, the coolest thing about Bill and Ted is that they both turned out to have incredible careers. Uh, research shows more kids are being homeschooled this year rather than being enrolled in public and private schools. This is not good news according to the nation's school shooters. Uh, you know, when Dale Earnhardt died, they held a race in his honor because it's how he was best remembered as a racer. And then for George Floyd, guess what we decided to do? Uh... What's the best part about telling a racist joke on Kill Tony? I've got three weeks to go into hiding. <laughs> That's all I got. There you go. Ooh, That's a minute right there. Wow, there you go. William Montgomery coming out, guns a blazing. Joke, 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 joke. How are you, William? I'm fine. I still have the same uh, shorts. Yes, you do. Has anybody sent you shorts? <laughs> Has anybody sent you any shorts? No, no. No, still no. What did your father say after we talked to him last week about your shorts situation? Has, have you talked to him in the middle of this week at all? It's been a pretty controversial week for you, has it not? I did. My sweet friend David, uh, after the podcast Wednesday, told my father I have a bad drinking problem. So yeah, oh, what? that you? That we means... we talked about that. I almost had to go back to Memphis, it, but I've stopped drinking now. Oh, you've completely stopped. I'm done. Why are you sweating so much then? Because he stopped drinking. <laughs> did you? When did you? Stop? Yeah, because I stopped drinking. When's the last time you had a drink? Be honest with us. We've always had your back. Be honest here. This is an honest chamber. What is today? Monday? Yeah. Um, today. Saturday, maybe? What time Saturday? Today? Saturday. So like late Friday night or into Saturday. Early into Saturday morning? Early into Saturday morning. And then when did you stop drinking? Probably 4 uh, a.m. Saturday. 4 a.m. Saturday morning. And then what time did you wake up Saturday afternoon? Uh, 7 o'clock. P.M.? P.M. You slept to the evening time. I did. It was hot as shit. And then what'd you do when you woke up at 7 p.m. on Saturday? It seems like there's only one thing to do. Uh, I actually, my mom sent me a crock pot. I actually ate leftovers oh. from the crock pot. Wow. wow. What so you, those what, are meat sweats. They're chicken, yeah, chicken meat sweats. He's lying to us. He made moonshine in that crock pot. <laughs> He's <laughs> liquored up right now. <laughs> All right. Why'd you put that mask on the microphone, you bitch, before you spoke into it? William, be nice to... Uh, I know. Well, we got into a fight uh, yesterday, so... You did? I sort of lost some respect for him. Did your dad really almost make you move back to Memphis? Yeah, and... Uh, it sounds take, like a Bruce Springsteen song. Moving the, back to Memphis. <laughs> and almost American took me to Birmingham, way. Alabama. M moving and David back hasn't to talked to me. David, you need to talk to me. What's going on? Did your dad watch the episode? Uh, I talked to my father the <laughs> other day. He said, you're moving to Memphis. Come my way. Whoa. I hate, fun fact, I hate Bruce Springsteen. I Me love music also. and I despise Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, Bruce and Rick Springfield. Like the two, like the, they were like almost clones. Almost. Wait, Rick Springfield has uh, Buffalo... Uh, Buffalo Soldiers. <laughs> yeah, like Buffalo either. Soldiers. I loved Rex Greenfield's uh, Buffalo Soldiers. He was a Buffalo Soldier <laughs> coming Rick to America. <laughs> did your dad listen to that episode, though? I don't think he did. Wow. Isn't that... Maybe he did. I don't know. Did you listen to it sober? 
I never listen back to anything I've ever done. Well, that's, you should have done that good. one. <laughs> that's good. That's huh? You should have listened to that one. Why? Because then you would know why everyone's upset with you. Aw. What, what do you think you did wrong, William, just to give people the Cliff's notes here? I threw up on one of Red Band's microphones. Oh. I kicked over one of his tripods. I messed up one of his cameras. What did you do to Eric Griffin? I kissed Janice. I know. Well, that's... You kissed Janice? Yep. Yeah. We made out in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You didn't know that one, did you, Red Band? I did because <laughs> she was screaming because you were forced on top of her. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> okay. This is getting creepy. I wouldn't say that. William, where do you write most of these jokes at? Where where do you find yourself? In a bathtub? Are you driving somewhere? Are you at the storage facility? Where do you tend to do most of your writing? It's mainly in a backyard setting. Backyard setting. So you're sitting at a patio? Correct. Do sitting you normally, at a metal table. Do you normally write while drinking alcohol? Because that could be an interesting sometimes storyline. By sometimes, you I mean, mean... You've heard his jokes, right? Yeah. You mean Come a on, lot? Come on, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him the frowny face. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. We know what that sound means. All right, William. That's well, how you write, in the back with Beck playing. I do love some Beck. I actually got word this week that Beck's a big fan of you. Did you? He actually emailed me. Yeah. So that's cool that you heard as well. I can't What did he it. tell you in the email? He told me to come to the Church of Scientology. Um, I told him I'm a big Christian. Uh, if God were to appear in front of you right now and say, William, follow my way. You've been drinking too much. Ooh, it's me, Jesus. What would you do? I would uh, just realize that he actually was the stranger on the bus. Yep. Do you remember that song, What If God Was One of Us? Alanis Morissette. Trying to, no, no, that was Cheryl like Joan Crow. Osborne. Oh, it was. Joan Osborne. Yeah. <laughs> Cheryl Crow. Rest in peace. I can't song. believe she's dead. Her career is dead if she's not, so. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Bill and Ted, Dale Earnhardt, George Floyd, you covered all the bases here tonight, William. <laughs> that's right. I'm going to tell you, that's Kill Tony Bingo Automatic. I tried. So, uh, girlfriend situation's good? Yeah, it's going good. Can we check for bruises? Can you pull up your shirt and turn it's around, actually, please? actually, no, we're not doing that. Can we see what the... Uh, what I'm the, not pulling out my shirt. Can we see how the hole on your stomach's doing? I'm not pulling up my shirt. Oh, the infection's back, huh? Oh, I think he's got more bruises. I'm not pulling my shirt up. It's actually her birthday on 9-11. He's got a worse staff than someone that uh, doesn't use ZipRecruiter. Staff? Yeah, it's the infection that you have. Staff infection. That staff infection is the open wound. I had a staff infection. Is this infection the Ellen show? On your chest. And the staff oh my God. reference. Oh, there we go. Look at those legs. Damn. You Wait, got... it's right here. I had a staff infection. Wow. I got to say, from the waist down, you look amazing. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I used to be a cyclist. I was a state champion cyclist. That's right. He actually was. That he was is a junior a Olympic uh, champion. Now he's got that e-bike body. A I wouldn't of, say that. A lot of his, <laughs> his body is breaking away. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great bike movie. Yes, it is. He went from the Tour de France to the Tour of Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Olive Gordon, yeah, that's a good Olive Gordon. Here he goes, William Montgomery, everybody. Another Woo! fun week with William Montgomery. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is the big red machine, William Montgomery. Oh, boy. <laughs> there he is. There's William First off, Montgomery. big fan, Eric. Nice to finally <laughs> meet you. Yeah. yeah. You don't remember when we met earlier, right? <laughs> uh, All right, here he goes. Uh, 60 seconds uninterrupted <laughs> from William Montgomery. This is, might be a little longer than 60 seconds. Uh, everybody always says don't mess with cockroaches. They carry diseases. But who's ever gotten sick from cockroaches? Hey, you hear about Anthony? He has cancer. Shit from smoking? Nah, a cockroach touched his leg when he was chasing it around his bathroom. He has six months left to live. I'm not suggesting we keep them as pets, but let's not pretend there's some pharmaceutical uh, company out there trying to find the cure for roach flu. I said that kind of weird. Uh, we let dogs sleep in the bed with us uh, while, while both of us are naked, and yet a roach crawls around the kitchen cabinet, and we contemplate starting a gender reveal fireworks party. Uh, you don't think the family dog rolled around in the same shit as the roach? 
There's a lot more. Um, dogs and roaches are practically the same. It's just dogs have better lobbyists. Uh, dogs have Sarah McLaughlin singing in every commercial. Roaches have a spray. Uh, every roach commercial. <laughs> Should keep, I finish? Keep it? going. Absolutely. I'll I'll listen to an hour on roaches. Go uh, ahead. <laughs> Every roach commercial starts out the same. A fat cigar-smoking roach plotting with his other fat roach friends about how they can ruin the value of your home. <laughs> then some white man in a cape shows up with the most toxic chemical known to man and just ices the hell out of those degenerate moochers. Uh, meanwhile, roaches are supposed to be the oldest insects known to man or some bullshit. Hell, that's probably made up too by the same people claiming that dogs can tell when humans have a horrible disease. I swear the day a dog walks up to me and says, sorry, buddy, you've got MS. I'm going to call bullshit because next he's going to blame it on a roach. Wow, there he goes, William Montgomery. <laughs> wow, look at that. Outside of the wheelhouse a bit, sticking to one subject the entire time. It was. Coming in with a guns a blazing bit that can really kill with, with, at, a, uh, at a cockroach fundraiser <laughs> or something yeah. like that. <laughs> So, All right. So let me let me start off with this question. Are you currently dealing with an infiltration of cockroaches? I am. Yes. yes. I had a feeling. Yep. Um, yep. Oh, so uh, how many are we talking about? How many do you see on an average day? Uh, 200. Oh, key dokey. Yeah, that's a Jesus. serious problem. Oh, wow. One just crawled out of your sleeve. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, by the way, there's uh, some shorts in the office for William, I Is heard. that true? Yeah. Yeah, Is the guy true? at the Zach, front was pissed. Zach, can you go grab uh, some shorts from the office? If that's true, we have to uh, make it part of this uh, this episode yeah. right now. We're going to debut <laughs> William's new shorts. <laughs> yeah, so you've heard of, you've heard of the Emperor's new clothes? This is William's new shorts. Tonight's <laughs> I'm excited. Are you excited? I am. I'm I hope pumped. I hope they fit properly. That's my Me only too. problem. You you are oddly shaped. I know. And uh, we have to <laughs> figure out how <laughs> to keep are. them on you. You have a belt on those things. Yep. It's the only way they're staying up. Oh my God! Look yeah, how, the this is broken. You can't even so see your belt up. because your belly blocks the light. Lift up your shirt again. Oh no. wow! Oh my goodness! Wow. What a debacle! <laughs> that belly button is big enough to do. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> deep. <laughs> That thing is. <laughs> you just got back. You were in Vegas for a whole week, huh? How, how was I it? was. How was it? Yeah, you didn't even tell us about this Vegas trip. You're just like, oh. I didn't. You got mad last time, so I thought I would keep it under wraps. This yeah, time. you really kept it a good secret, posting <laughs> it the second you got there on Instagram. That's yeah. great. I want to say, you seem oddly sober. <laughs> I am. I know. After the uh, the debacle with the podcast, it did get the most views we've had in a long time, which is positive. But <laughs> yeah, it wasn't yeah, great. I wasn't sure if you were still with us. <laughs> yeah. no. I heard about this. He had, yeah. a, he had a little. Uh, oh man, he had a thing bigger than this, full of vodka. And I didn't know till the end, and he just was a hot fucking mess. Wow. So to yeah, see I you right now, I of. could feel some like the haze is off of you right now. Is there so anything you want to say to Eric Griffin who showed up, who probably drove all the way to Burbank to be part of your show and to uh, support you and then, yeah. you, and then you came, then you went there? I, ap I apologize for sabotaging it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Good for him. You, you yeah. accept his Are you going to accept my apology? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. You, you think you can just get off that easy? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Typical, right. typical alcoholic <laughs> thinks he can just apologize you know I mean? and, and wish it, it, it away. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just because exactly. he doesn't remember what yeah. he did the night before doesn't mean we forgot. Yeah, you're still on step two, buddy. You know so I mean? uh, any okay. highlights <laughs> Any highlights from this Vegas trip? Uh, I Being lost $1,000. So wow, How much shit. did you lose? 1000 Wow. How much money did you have to your name before that? Uh, like 1200 Wow. So you still have 200 left. Still got 200. It was how, there, yeah, how was the game? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just want to know, how's the gambling? Like, what is that like in Vegas right oh, now? Oh, it's the same. They're taking No, no, but I mean, money. like, at the tables. Like, is there there's there's, there's in between plexiglass. plexiglasses oh, in between wow. each yeah. one. And then a guy like William yeah. shows up at your blackjack table, and everybody gets up and moves to a different <laughs> table. <laughs> I know because the glass is all foggy and yeah. sweaty. And just, <laughs> it's just it coughing everywhere. <laughs> did you lose that on like uh, slots, uh, like the electronic slots? Yeah, where did you lose on the majority the roulette. of Roulette. Yes. What are your numbers on roulette? What do you like to bet on? I would do red every time and even. Yeah. Wow, that is the exact like opposite <laughs> oh. of what I do. Oh, oh shit. my God, we got a lot of play? shorts. Is yeah, this real? Coming. Bring them in here. Yeah, Bring them on stage. Real? Come on, this is Zach Bogus. Bring it up oh, here, Zach. Oh my God. Up here, Zach. Up here. 
There Are those goes. really all shorts? <laughs> no way. You're fucking with us, is right? This uncontaminated. Wow. This hey, is you need to ask insane. for a hundred dollars from everybody next time. Oh, oh well. Yeah, the okay, guy up front well, got mad. I'll, I'll put in a good word for you. Let's. Uh, is this real? Let's <laughs> op- let's start opening them up. Oh my god! It really <laughs> says William Montgomery. This is hilarious. Wow. Yeah, are, wow. they, are those swim trunks? What are those? <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Right. Oh. oh, my goodness. Let's uh, open up another one. That's for when he's fighting for the world championship. Exactly. That's what those are. Look at those. My goodness. This is very exciting, William. This guy, for those of you that don't know, maybe this is your first episode watching. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at that. Uh-oh. Did someone <laughs> just escape from a French prison? Yeah. No, those Beetle are, juice. Those are I juice. love Lucy swim shorts. <laughs> uh oh, look at this, Ooh. Miami metrosexual. Love it. Oh my goodness, this is very exciting. <laughs> I feel his balls popping. Red Band's out of those so excited, <laughs> he's pushing the table back. He can't believe he gets to open. He another pair of these. Whoa! <laughs> I feel like that Brian is. bought those Brian, for you William. Keep, put, you keep leveraging <laughs> the table. Hey, no, Tony. you got it. Just don't use your foot to push off on the table. Tony, okay, we here we burn? go. Oh, my goodness. More shorts for William. This is, ooh, black and gray camouflage. <laughs> it's from the David Lucas collection right there. Brothers in cursive. They have the same. But, oh, look at that. But Tony. those are David's good shorts. Look at that. <laughs> those are a pair of extra large Tony Hinchcliffe golf shorts right there. Very exciting. Oh, here we go. Whoa, look at those. Whoa. You know, these will be the only <laughs> pair that he wears for six months for some reason. <laughs> these, look, these look like the regular shorts. Uh-oh, look at that. Damn. We have Grandpa with Coronavirus <laughs> shorts there. Whoa, these are classy. Oh, my goodness. Damn. What are you going to do with those, William? <laughs> Oh, my God. Whichever listener did this, you are an absolute fucking legend. Hey, look at this. Whoa. You can wash your shorts. <laughs> wash your shorts. Wash your shorts. <laughs> this is a, a very exciting, ladies and gentlemen. An entire container of Tide. It has happened. Dreams have come true. William Montgomery has been wearing the same pair of shorts for what has it been years? Eight years, probably. Eight years, and now he has many pairs. Oh my god! It this is, is wow, wow. This is another nice and pair. Tied. It's like you just got out of rehab. <laughs> Look at that char charcoal black right there. Yeah. Look at that black shorts matter. Oh, look at these ones. Those might be a little bit big on you. I'm warning you about that pair. Those look a little thick. You might have to give those to your brother in cursive. Whoa! Ooh, look at those. Look at I like these those. Ones. Those William are fun. Montgomery. Oh my God! Somebody sent twenty-five <laughs> pairs of shorts to the comedy store. This yeah. is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Hey, can we burn his old shorts? Oh no! No! Burn no! Burn no! Those shorts! Burn no. those shorts! Oh yeah. my God, William! What Tony, do you have to, Zach? Tony, can you zoom in on this? But a that's bit? how that gender reveal fire started. <laughs> From the waist to the head, there. That looks great. William, wh- what do you have to say to the person that sent you all these shorts? Just thank you so much. It seems like it's really going to help me out. Are you going to wear them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll start tomorrow. You That's know what? Great. Why don't we start tonight? Why don't you go to the back and put on the uh, blue put on, put on the blue ones with the sharks and dolphins or whatever that is and take okay. those things off. I and think we you will... should put one on in between each person so we can get like a little... <laughs> should we do that? Should yeah. we do a little William fashion <laughs> show? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. There he goes. There he goes, the great William Montgomery, everybody. He's going to start putting on shorts. Yeah, go. All right. Should we check in, see, get a walkthrough by oh, yeah. William? Yes, see a walkthrough. William, come on out. Come on out. Here, here he comes, William Montgomery. Wow. <laughs> come on up here. Take a – come on. Get him with that one. There you go. Let's get a nice little shot. Zoom on in there. Oh, yes. Unbelievably beautiful. Here, come, move up on the camera a little bit. Let's keep facing that. Oh, wow. Those are that's, sexy, man. That's you beautiful. You like that. Pink. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. All right, there he goes. William Montgomery, everybody. Keep playing, band. Keep playing. Yeah. <laughs> she hinted she wanted to have the exclusive talk. We have it. But she's like, I just want to be honest. There has been another guy I've been casually seeing. 
and I don't want to see him anymore. And I thought it was so That's cool. Fair. And then she went home and fucked him. You know what? This reminds me no better time well, than now good. to see William Montgomery in new shorts. Here we go. Here he comes. Here he comes. There's William Montgomery. Oh. Wow. There he is. Notice wow. how the shorts. Look at this, everybody. It is like absolutely incredible. A beautiful you know pair of these, shorts. These compliment your belly. I like these. It Tony. really is good. It camouflages <laughs> in everything. It's incredible. Yes, to Joel. Uh, Master P just called. He said there are some limits. Oh, there you go. Nicely done. An extremely topical you know, Master funny? P Your joke. dick is hidden anyway, so this kind of works. <laughs> This is my favorite one so far. That's absolutely yeah, like beautiful. These. There he goes, William Montgomery like with a new pair of shorts. <laughs> but speaking of writing jokes and always getting better, why don't we check in with your co-host, Brothers in Cursive. Here's William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> some new shorts. Here he comes. Here's some more shorts with William Montgomery. Whoa. Oh, these are a winner. Whoa. Viva la France. You're oh like my goodness! Six Here pounds he is. lighter. <laughs> wow! There he is, the fattest man in Auschwitz. Everybody, <laughs> William Montgomery. <laughs> oh my God! Beetlejuice <laughs> made them shorts. <laughs> From Auschwitz to Aus right. shorts. <laughs> Tony, I didn't know man. Foot. Why is he eating so good? <laughs> Tony, oh I didn't goodness. know Foot Locker had a swim team. <laughs> there he is. You look okay. like Beetle. I haven't drank juice in years. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious! Well, you, you do. This is uh, just when, when they get a swimming pool in the prison yard. Everybody, this is <laughs> you look like you need a like zebra. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! You, look, you doing some work back there, huh? <laughs> wow, the swim shank redemption over here. Right. The, uh, <laughs> no swimming trunks came with handcuffs. <laughs> 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 are those swimming shorts or are those actually shorts that just look like swimming shorts? What? <laughs> are they swim shorts? Can you confirm by the feeling? Are put your shorts? hands in the pockets. Face the camera Is and put mesh? your hands in the uh, that Is camera mesh? over there, William. Yeah, over there. Is it mesh? There you go. Yeah, oh, brothers in cursive, <laughs> where art thou? <laughs> 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 Say that again, Chroma, just in case people missed it. Our oh, brothers studio. in cursive, where art thou? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, there he goes, William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> Sold a pair of shorts before? No. <laughs> well, you know what? You might want to after you see what I'm about to bring up here right now. This yeah, is another example. This is another <laughs> William Montgomery in new shorts. Here he comes. Whoa! Ow, ow! These are the ones we've been waiting for. For those of you that want to take a little trip to the beach and vomit in your own mouth while you're there, look at this young stud bucket. Fresh off of building a sandcastle made out of old burger wrappers. It's William Montgomery. My goodness, look at this guy. This is, this is what he would have looked like if he lost the extra $200 in Vegas. Nothing. I... I'm really surprised how you have no ass. I was just going to say. I mean, you, hold on, you literally that music. have this. <laughs> it is unbelievable. Like somebody hits you in the ass with a book bag. It is just, incredible no how ass. flat your ass is. Yeah. I mean, if you lay down on your back, you would look like the New York City coronavirus curve. <laughs> if he lays on his stomach, does it push his ass out? You Maybe it does. Can we try it? You want to lay, lay on your stomach for a second here? Let's see what happens. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a push-up. Oh, he's got a little bit of little bit of junk no, in the trunk nothing. there. My goodness, it is it is just it, flat. It goes neck fat right into. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that! Oh, he's fucking the stage, everybody. <laughs> you know the mean? stage. He's not laughing. He is fucking the stage. And it's amazing how the neck fat flaps over too. <laughs> it is incredible that I have a bigger ass than the fat man yeah. wearing shorts on this Gee, show right now. This your is, knees are bigger than your ass. <laughs> it is true. It is true. He has bigger knees than butt cheeks. He's yeah. sweating bullets from laying on the floor. That's, That's all lot. it takes. Or definitely has an enlarged heart. I uh, like it, William. There I, he goes. We're gonna we're gonna get I back like to those. more. That's my new favorite. I like those. We're gonna get back to more shorts. This isn't for the comedy. This was to let everybody know. Hey, I, I came here for the, the pussy. Is red. Red. You know what? There, there's only <laughs> right? one thing that can Come get on. this horrible taste out of my mouth, no. and it is William Montgomery in new shorts. Here we go. 
Here we go. Here he comes. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at this. Oh wow. Oh, uh, that's it. Look at this. For all of you ladies in the room that have been wanting, uh, wanting an abusive stepfather in your lives. And here William, he is. William, let me introduce you to a freshly shaven. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, he makes up for all the pubes you lost. Yeah. Those My look goodness. actually comfortable. Now your yeah, belly button really and her does. pussy He's got are very similar. Brand new baseball cap says Happy New Year with a little <laughs> party hat on it. My goodness. Oh, look at the pockets on that. They have zipper pockets. Wow. Come on. Well, let's see the see how those pockets work, William. And Face that camera over there, William. That there's camera. One back cam. There's that one camera over there, William. There's, yes. There's, there's one that back one. pocket. I like that. Oh my goodness! Take my money, please. Wow, there he is. I think he's commando. His oh, ass keeper. actually got bigger since the last yeah. time we. Uh, yeah, he's, he's been doing some butt. Were you doing exercises Dude. back there? He's doing some squats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this real ass? Somebody check. My goodness! For those of you that have always wanted to. Uh, those of you that have always wanted to wonder what the guy that operates the festival amusement park rides looks like wearing only shorts. This is, you must be this tall to ride this ride, everybody. This is a. Uh, well, this is the dude that fixes the rides after the. <laughs> yeah. This is the guy. You guys all the, are all right. the kids have gone home. If you've know? ever wanted to, if you've ever wanted to fuck the tractor driver at a haunted hayride, <laughs> this is the guy for you. Uh, Here he is, the old. Uh, you guys are right. Mess shorts, way hotter than lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely doodly. There he goes, William Montgomery, right. everybody. We're going to move on to blue ball here. I didn't see her until she went out with her trash jokes. Okay, we get it. Trash get jokes, it. mediocre. Get you know what? We need you to hate need her. A... We got it. <laughs> you know what? We're going to change the energy for a second. We're going to check in with William in new shorts. Here we go. Here comes William in new shorts. Whoa! Look at these bad mamma jammas oh, right there. Yes. My goodness gracious. For those of you that are fans of the new Tampa Bay Buccaneers, these are fresh out, size 38 waist with a built-in belt so you can't even lose it this time. Multiple pockets for you to keep your 200 bucks that you have left to your name. And snacks. <laughs> yes, many snacks, a, perhaps a bag of Doritos. And if you spill the nacho Doritos on yourself, it'll blend right in with the orange camouflage. Absolutely incredible. You can incredible. spill anything on yourself. Dirt, charcoal, cum stains, white out. Anything will work with these delectable <laughs> camouflage pants. Some of the oddest camo ever. You cannot hide in the woods. In now it camo seems pants. as if your ass is eating these shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like your ass is so... <laughs> your ass is trying like to gain weight hole. so badly that it is eating from the backside. <laughs> these camo shorts. If you're trying to blend in with a forest fire, these are the perfect camo pants for you. Absolutely incredible. Um, my goodness! For those of you ladies that are into a uh, into a young grandfather, this is this is the look that you're going for. Uh, uh, young grandfather or a very old stepbrother. This is William Montgomery, su shorts supermodel. What's your armpit hair look like? Let's see that. Oh, barely anything there, surprisingly. Wow, very very stunning. He's got the sandals of Jesus Christ Himself. There he goes, William Montgomery, shorts model. Thank you, William. Thanks again to all the people that sent those shorts off. So that's, that's really cool, I guess. 